this will not be how it was because I am no longer who I was. I have become the savior I once longed for, a sweet drop to satisfy a parched tongue so it might begin to sing its song. I have risen to protect the little girl within me. I trust this moment. I will take my own hand. I will surrender to the journey and what it brings. I will choose to keep my heart open in a world that constantly pushes it to close, falling deeply and madly in love with the uniqueness of every moment, knowing that it will pass. I will feel it all anyway. I will find a way to love reality more than fantasy, for I have already lost too many moments into the trance of otherness, and I have run out of flowers for their graves. I will trust my body. I will hear her cries, the cries of each cell that bursts with a story to tell, knowing my flesh as the most beautifully intricate and complex mechanism imaginable. I will melt my mind into oneness with her being. And when I feel truth cooking up a beat inside me, I will let it burst out with a song on my lips and the sway of my hips. I am ecstasy in motion, an expression of perfection in a moment-sized form. And in every moment, I will express it all fully. When I am high, I will soar and dance and shout. I will praise the sun and soak her in. And when I am low, I will become slow. I will hold myself and let her break in my hands. And then I will let joy awaken me, feeling the breath of God caressing all things like fingertips upon soft skin. There is a richness hidden in the silence. So I will let myself pause. I will add some comments into my story. And in those moments between, I will allow my pain to have a voice because I have seen that she is not a monster, but a child. And when she says that she is scared, I will sweep her up into my lap and whisper reminders that it's all pretend. And in the end, the villains will take off their masks and the light will illuminate the shadows and all things will return back home. But until then, child, it's time to play.